NBA 75, 75th celebration. We wanted to look back on the, the weekend it was for you, Mr. Diesel, and you, Mr. Wade, because me and Jay Crawford, we got to sit back and enjoy it. As fans. And we kind of want to know what it was like for you. So let's take a little trip down memory lane, see what it was like for Big Shaq Diesel. Some moments that we will never forget of you. First and foremost, what an entrance. <laughs> Shout out to the Q's. I think he had the best entrance. Beta Kappa Gamma Sig, what's happening? Just this right, was... Just right, right here, me arguing. Well, not arguing, just finally... Uh, uh, you know, finally confessing that I'm, I'm not showing on the screen. <laughs> not so, you know, Bob McAdoo used to always jump on me and D-Wade about not showing on the screen. So I finally confessed. I said, you know what? All the times I said I was going to show and I didn't, I apologize. Wow, you're a big and man. It was, it was great to see all those guys. I, that's what I wanted to ask you is there was one clip where you in the back and you heard you saying, I was like a kid in a candy store. But, and you had this incredible monologue that you went on next to Ernie where you talked about your life in basketball and how this kind of felt like the culmination of everything. Now that you've had a chance to kind of take it all in, man, what was it like? Well, it was a great honor. Uh, you know, I'm still kind of sad that my father and my sister couldn't be there, but, you know, my, my, my mother called me and t told me she was proud of me. And I could just remember sitting back Wishing I was as fast as Dave, as fast as David Robinson. I was wishing back, saying, "Man, I'm gonna wear 33. I'm gonna be like Patrick Ewing." And you know, just sitting back, saying, "Man, Akeem Olajuwon got some nice footwork." Sitting back, saying, "Damn, Bull Jordan just hit us for 63. Can we really beat him in the playoffs?" And to just be in there with those guys, seeing Magic and meeting Magic. So, you know, I'm 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 50 now, but you know, it was still incredible, you know, to see all those guys and. I always say this, I, I, I never got there by myself. Definitely got to thank this gentleman over here. Got to thank the Colster, got to thank Penny Hardaway, D. Scott, Nick Anderson, all my teammates in high school, Cavaliero, the Sandberg boys, uh, you know, in Germany, uh, Ford McMurtry, uh, Dwayne Clark, Corey, all those guys that, that helped me get there. You know, my father was the one who just told me, uh, never give up, because it was times where you're not that good. And then I just wanted to be good. Like, when, <clears throat> when I first came to L.A., I, I wanted what Magic had. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm in San Antonio. I'm a local star. You know, I, I go in a restaurant and get a little clap. But when I first, <laughs> no, I, I'm not even talking about playing. Like, when I saw Magic in a restaurant and he walked in and people go crazy, I'm like, that's mm. what I want. That's what I'm chasing right there. Mm. Forget being good. I want to be, I want to be the most dominant big man like Sergeant Harrison said I could be. And I, did whatever it, whatever it took. And I can remember losing to the Bulls because we beat them in 95 and then we got swept by Kenny and them. And then Michael came back next year and swept us. And he told me, before, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. And I didn't know what that meant. And then I went to LA and we had a great team, but we kept getting swept. I probably got the most sweeps out of all superstars. Like we kept getting swept. One day I'm in the bathroom I rip a toilet off out, out the ground. I'm busting mirrors, I'm ripping doors. I rip a urinal off the wall. Jerry West comes in, it's water. Not pissy water, but just water. <laughs> <laughs> just Thank water. you for the clarification. Yeah, it's just going everywhere. <laughs> Hope not. And Jerry West grabs me and says, calm down. I was like, no, I'm tired of losing. He, he told me. He went to the finals nine times and lost before he won one. And, I, and it just, everything just, and I'm like, oh, what? Mm. You went to the, the dance nine times and lost? He's like, yeah, you, you'll get it, you'll get it. And they told me to calm down, and you know we met Phil. You know the rest is history. But to everyone that you know had a, had a part in it, thank you, Doctor was still on there, my favorite person, Tifa, Jamal, love you guys. Uh, but it was great. It was cool to watch, yeah, man. It was great. Uh, Mr. Wade, let's look back at some of your best moments from the weekend. I had to pass him some tissue. He was back there crying like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> was a uh, your entrance, soldier. the beautiful bow. Did you plan this? No. Oh, just not very Ooh. nice. Yeah, that was super clean. It, it just cool. happened. One of my favorite moments as Steph Curry's going off, you, Alan, and Reggie just taking it all in. And I don't know, man. That picture from the back of You're Reggie, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> stop it. And, and you and your guys. Yeah, man. All getting it. I mean, the journey that you guys have been on is wild. I mean. Then you gonna cry now? Cry now. No, no, just you, you make you making yeah. me relive it. And 
One thing, Steph and I, we were close to each other in the lineup, right? We were, we were getting called out. And we were both giddy, like kids. And it, I was like, I'm not going to be cool. I'm not about to sit back and, 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 it, and on the outside, I was cool. But on the inside, I was, I was jumping for joy. But it was a moment where we were all in the circle with the Miami Heat. We got a chance to go over there and talk to Spo and the whole coaching staff. And then Shaq came and Gary came and Ray came. And then Bob McAdoo came, who was my coach when I came in. Mm. And all of us was on this team together. And, um, and I just looked around, and Brian obviously was you know, doing this thing. And I just looked around, and I ran into Magic at one point when I first walked in. He was like, D-Wade, <laughs> <laughs> only, only 75 people got this jacket. You know, it was just like all these great moments. And I was just taking it in because I remember I, I remember vividly 1997 watching the All-Star game in Cleveland. I remember watching my favorite player grab that jacket, that leather coat. And I remember thinking like, that's what I want. Mm. I want what my favorite player has. And so to be in that moment and to look around at all the greatness that was in that room at once. Like when you see the list, when, when they tell you made the team, it's great, it's amazing. But when you actually around all the greatness, you see our era be giddy about the ones that we grew up. You see Isaiah be giddy about um, Kareem. You, yeah. you see Shaq. Shaq cool as heck, but Shaq was, Shaq was giddy up in there. Like, we all were like little kids again um, that got this opportunity to wear these jackets and feel special. So, like I told Adam during the break, it was a moment when Jordan came in, and that's the reason I played a game of basketball. Can I, can I say this really quick? Yeah. I don't think people at home realize Nobody knew Jordan was going to be there. No one knew. No one. Like, nobody knew he was going to be there. No one that was crazy. And so you're in the hallway. Just we, we're in the hallway, the, the guys, the, the guards, we're talking before we go out, and Mike creeps in. And Mike gave me some love, and every time, I don't care. It's Mike, Jason. Mike. It's Mike. <laughs> I don't Mike. care. I, I was with the Jordan brand. I had moments. This is Mike. Yeah. So Mike came and gave me love, and then he went right to the old dog. He went right to Magic, right? That clip that went viral yeah. about Lace Him Up. And if you see my face... That was a moment that I realized I was in basketball heaven. Like, my basketball lifespan had ended, and I ended up in basketball heaven. Mm -hmm. It's a metaphor for life, right? Yeah. And to just be there, to be able to experience, you know, something that Hall of Fame is great. Getting your jersey retired is great. For me, as a kid, I didn't have my family there. I didn't really want my family there. That was individually my moment as a young kid growing up Want to be one of the greatest to ever played a game. Yeah. And I got a chance to put on that jacket and be next to my favorite player as one of the greatest to ever play. Speaking of jackets, 1997 was the first time that we saw those leather jackets, and then those leather jackets made a comeback. We got a chance to take a closer look at your jacket. What, 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 do, what do you think about this thing, what Jeff Hamilton put together? I, I mean, obviously, I think it's incredible. I just, I've always wanted a leather jacket. I, I mean, I've never told nobody that. Secretly, I, I knew that this was coming up. I wanted to be on this team more than I've wanted anything individually. I've, I'm a team guy. I do whatever you want me to do as a teammate. But individually, it was one thing I wanted. I wanted to be on this team. Mm. And I got it, so I'm happy. Where is your jacket? My jacket's in the locker. I, I didn't know y'all was you know, premiering jackets. I could have hung my little <laughs> jacket up on anger. Mine's in the locker. Oh, it is? Top 75. All them games he missed when he played with us, it was terrible. And the words of Bubba Dub, Shaq is trash. Top seven five. I come for his big seven. All the time. He ain't show no pick and roll. He ain't do nothing. He's carried. He ain't make no free throw. He ain't make no free throw. I didn't even give him the ball in the fourth quarter. He was top seven five. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What you do? I mean, he had a jump hook. He, he had no move. He had a jump hook. Like, who? Top 75 with a jump hook? Let him know how you really feel. Top 75 with a jump hook? Well, I played with Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Steve Nash. Yeah, I'd be in the top 75 too. But he shouldn't be in the top 75. Dwayne, no, you didn't. Nope. Yeah, 13 nah. points in the finals? <laughs> All the kids out there that think you don't need to make free throws to get in the top 75, you do. I don't know how he made it. Wow. Uh, the trap. I thought y'all were friends. We are. I thought y'all was brothers. That's fair. 
Trash. <laughs> Shout out to Bubba Top. <laughs> Shout out to Bubba Top. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> All right, well, uh, if anybody's near Techwood, there's a top 75 jacket in the trash that you can dig out. I Don't say that. Don't, yeah. Don't yeah. say that. There's a security guard. It. You're not coming in. I'm uh, going to get it. Hey. Uh, in the words of my favorite actor, Denzel, I'm putting cases on all of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, program, program when I get finished with you. <laughs> Before, uh, really quick, do you have anything that you want to ask these guys? Yeah, just, I mean, being in the basketball fraternity for 20 years, right, and, and watching those guys. And I felt like a kid again, watching you, watching Shaq. To me, from a distance, like Shaq had a nervous energy when he came out. Like, he... He knows he's going to be there, just like he did, right? But just seeing him around all the greatness, all the people he grew up watching and admiring, and Hussard said, you know, you're going to be like this person, that person, to be in a room full of greatness. It was a moment for me. Like, like dang, this is what it's about. Like D-Wade said, I've watched all the Hall of Fame uh, speeches and inductees, but to see that, that was something different. And to see how you guys interacted with each other, the younger people, the older people, even Jalen's guys are looking back like, man, that's what we want to be one day. Yeah. And that was inspiring. So shout out yeah. to both of you guys. You know, all I wanted was their validation. Right. That's all I wanted. Like, if this thing never happened, I wanted them to be like, that's the dude. The worst day of my life. I'm killing in LA. I'm putting up big numbers. Article Kareem says Shaq's not great. Mm. I got Kareem like numbers. What the hell is Kareem talking about? And he made a great point. Get swept every year in the playoffs. Can't go to you in the fourth quarter, and you ain't got no championships. So I still don't have one of the greatest big men validation. Okay, so that just added, added more diesel fuel to the fire. So and then in the, Cleveland, you get to shake Kareem's hand with right? four with four of them things. With four of them things. With four of them Ooh. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh. So that's I mean you know that's all I want. And you didn't have to make up that story. He actually said it. Yeah, he did. No, yeah. he said it. He yeah. said it. Yeah. Thank you, Kareem. I appreciate. I you. love that.